everyone. Um, thank you for coming to our Capstone Festival. My name is Usman Gay. I'm from West Africa. And my <coughs> advisor is Ken Cahill. So um, my Capstone is an attempt to revolutionize the way the civil registry is managed in Africa. So when I look at this slide, I see problem. But I believe that when a problem lasts more than 300 years, it becomes a disaster. <laughs> so what happens is, when uh, Senegal was a French colony in the 1700s, the colonialists decided to invest, uh, invent a system that will help them uh, put in records the major decisions they make. And they had to track the populations and everything, all the activities, in some ways. But the problem is, when they left, we use that legacy. And nothing has been changed since then. And it's been over 300 years. So you might call me a little more ambitious, but I'm gonna try to force these people to embrace technology and fight the digital divide. The solution was easy to find because as you know, technology is a tool that is provided to us. And there are so many open sources that we can use to make things the, uh, be the way we want them to be. And intelligence is just your capability of using the tools that are made available to you to solve real life problems. And that's what we're trying to do here. So I had to build a MySQL database. So everything we have as far as records can be digitally archived. And as an illustration, I'm just going to mention something that recently happened in Mali. It's a country near Senegal, where is Timbuktu, the University of Timbuktu, maybe some of you have heard of it. It's like one of the most, one of the oldest universities of the world with more than 1,500 years of history. And the terrorists went down there and burned down the documents, and there was no backups, no system of recovering the data. And I think that's a tragedy. When it's something like that happens, it's not good for humanity. So I built a system that fully works right now, and I'm hoping that they will adapt it. I um, implement a system that allows them to securely save their data, and that is compatible with modern technology that can be improved upon in the near future. And it also allows data integration, which means that you can find a piece of information and know exactly what it relates to. This is an interface. I have built a site in Drupal with a graphical user interface that would allow people to interact with my external database and be able to locate exactly their data. As you know it, sometimes in Africa, and especially in Senegal, you go to some office to get a birth certificate, a marriage license, a death certificate, and it takes the clerk maybe a couple of months to dig through all those books and physical files to find your record. And that's not, I cannot really admit it. It's not impossible in 2014. The way I worked was I had to do some research. As you know, there's so many frameworks and open sources available to us that we can use to build amazing projects. And I was researching and I came across a tool called New Builder. That is, on, uh, that is built on PHP and MySQL that I have used along with Drupal. And I was able to build interactive forms, the website, an admin panel that's gonna be used by the um, city council employees to insert data, retrieve data from it, archive data, sort data, integrate data, and do anything that's, that they wanna do. And what I learned from this project, I think it's gonna be a lot of things to, to, to list, but the overall experience is just a great sense of balance between community and academics. And I believe that's what set the foundation of this school. So I, researched, I learned to do comparative and effective research. I learned to manage my time to be my own boss I learned more advanced SQL and PHP skills. 
I feel very comfortable building sites in Drupal. And I had worked with limited supervision, except being with Gavin, who was always flexible and uh, understanding and very supportive of me. And uh, I want to thank him, special thanks to you, Gavin, for building in this project. The tools I've used are already mentioned. It's MySQL, PHP, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, Drupal, New Builder, Adobe Creative CSS. Uh, I used my laptop to build a test application, and I had a dedicated server space that I used to host my site, site and the database on. So thanks to all of you for being here, for making this festival fun. And uh, if you want to learn more about this project, please come to my poster session in room 120, and I will tell you more about it. Thank you.